Are you struggling with selecting rows in your data table? It can be really frustrating when you want to select multiple rows, but some just won't cooperate. If this sounds like you, stick around because we are going to solve this issue together. I totally get it. You want to streamline your workflow, but when certain rows are unselectable, it can throw a wrench in your plans. You're not alone in this. Many users face similar challenges with data tables. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I disable row selection for specific rows based on cell data in my data table? This is a common scenario and we're going to break it down step by step. So why does this happen? Data tables allow for flexible row selection, but sometimes you need to restrict selection based on certain criteria like cell data. Understanding how to implement this can save you a lot of headaches and make sure to stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make managing your data tables even easier. To disable row selection based on cell data, the user should first define a function that checks the data in the specific cell of each row. This function will determine whether the row should be selectable or not. Next, the user needs to integrate this function into the data table's configuration. This can be done by using the row callback option to apply the selection logic. After that, the user should add some CSS to visually indicate which rows are disabled. This will help users understand that they cannot select those rows. Finally, the user can test the data table to ensure that the selection works as intended. They should verify that the specified rows are not selectable. Fun fact! Did you know that the first version of data tables was released over a decade ago? It has come a long way since then, making data management easier for everyone. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by a user involves using the data tables library with Ajax populated data. They suggest implementing a mechanism to disable row selection based on specific identifiers. This method utilizes checkboxes for selection and dynamically identifies which rows should be unselectable. In the JavaScript code, the user initializes the data table and sets up the column definitions. They also handle the selection behavior by deselecting any rows that are marked as unselectable when a user tries to select them. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative solution provided by a user suggests that you can disable row selection by returning false in the selection event. This will prevent the selection of specific rows based on their data. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. An alternative solution has been provided by another user. They suggest changing the selection style from multi to single. This adjustment allows for better control over row selection based on your specific needs. Here's a quick tip. Always test your data table after making changes to ensure everything works as expected. This can save you from unexpected issues down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to disable row selection for specific rows in your data table. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tricks.